Akamai has developed a new user interface for Enterprise Threat Protector called Enterprise Center. Enterprise Center offers a new navigation experience that makes it easier and more intuitive to find features and reports, allowing you to get the most out of your Enterprise Threat Protector service. Let's have a quick look at the new interface where I'll show you how to access the common features that you're used to using in Enterprise Threat Protector. Now there's some cool new enhancements in Enterprise Center, and I'll be sure to point those out as we go along. So let's get started. To access Enterprise Center, we basically open our menu like we typically do, but instead of selecting Enterprise Threat Protector, we're going to choose Enterprise Center. Choosing Enterprise Center will load up the Enterprise Center console. And as this loads up, you'll notice the first thing that loads is a dashboard view. So this will immediately give us some good information about how our service is working. Uh, we can see we're looking at the last 24 hours of data here. In true Akamai fashion, we can select a predefined uh, date range, or we can select any date and time in the past 30 days to uh, have a look at. So all there configurable for you. You have a couple of options for the uh, dashboard views. By default, the threat overview will load up, but we have additional dashboards, one being security, the other being an operations dashboard. If I click on the menu over here, I can see I've got a couple of other options. So I can copy the URL of this dashboard, very handy. Maybe I want to share this dashboard with a colleague so they can have a look at this data. Maybe I want to download a PDF of this data. Maybe I'm creating a report and these uh, graphics would be good for that report. I can also clone or even add a new dashboard. So if I click Add Dashboard, now I can create my own dashboard that has widgets on it that are interesting to me. So let's say I call this my dashboard. Now I can create widgets and, and select the information that I'm interested in. Maybe I want to see DNS events and maybe I want to see uh, them grouped by category. And maybe I want to give this a name first and then have this uh, shown in a table view. Once I have all my parameters set up, it's going to give me a preview of what my widget's going to look like. If I click Save, then my widget now appears on my dashboard, and now I can continue adding widgets. Once again, to build a dashboard that gives me a view of all the metrics that are interesting for me. So uh, cool functionality to play around with, and you can create these dashboards, you can share them with your colleagues, and you can even create that to be your default dashboard when you log into Enterprise Center. Within Enterprise Center, we've got everything kind of grouped together more logically in a menu of options over here on the left. So I can, uh, to see more real estate, collapse this menu and then click on the arrows again to expand the menu. Uh, so everything here is set up in a logical kind of menu structure. So our first option is to look at threat analytics. I can first choose events and go to my threat events or maybe uh, acceptable use policy events. So the access control will give me a view of that. Um, Threat events will load up all of your threat events, and then you can create filters to kind of filter out those events to see what might be interesting to look at. Maybe I want to look at command and control activity from a specific location. I can set up a filter and it will uh, kind of filter out the, the results to match that criteria. Gives me a, an idea of what I'm looking at there. Same thing for access control. The activity section is where all of your DNS summary and activity sections are. Uh, the security connector page is very, very useful. Uh, great dialogue to see if you're using any security connector, you can quickly find out what IP addresses on your network are making requests that are in violation of your policy. So that's uh, uh, very uh, easily accessed from this dialogue. 
And lastly, on this section, we can use the indicator search if you would like to find out information on a specific domain. Would this domain be uh, flagged by Enterprise Threat Protector? What does Akamai know about this specific domain? You can type that domain into the indicator search functionality and we'll let you know everything we know about a specific domain. Your reports section is where you would go to set up your schedule reports. You can set up reports to be sent to you on a weekly or daily basis. Um, you can have those reports sent to you to show just the alerts or all threat events. Clients and connectors now have their own menu options. So this is the dialogue you will use to manage your ETP clients or security connectors. ETP client, we uh, have some new features available there. We used to support only Mac and Windows OS. We've expanded that now to Linux, Chromebooks, and mobile devices. So you can uh, download and manage all your ETP clients right from the ETP client uh, dialog here. Same thing with security connectors. So if you would like to use the security connector as a DNS forwarder or as a sinkhole, uh, you can manage and, and download those secure, uh, security connectors here. The locations tab is where we would go to manage our locations. This will look identical uh, to the enterprise threat protector uh, interface. And here we can go and add a new location. We can manage uh, existing locations, kind of modify those or delete them if necessary. Um, and we can also then run reports on our locations from this dialog. The network configuration section is where I would go to set up my internal IP addresses and internal domain suffixes that will be used with Enterprise Threat Protector. Here on the policies menu item, we have the ability to go in and manage our policies. Once again, looks identical to the Enterprise Threat Protector uh, configuration option there, uh, but I can add a new policy. I can manage existing policy, make changes and updates, delete policies, et cetera, from this dialog. Conveniently, the list section is right here, so I can manage my custom lists. Uh, and then once I've got those set up, then I can take an action on those lists in my policy. The other thing I can do here is set up my error pages. So if I want to go in and customize the look and feel of my error pages, that's done right here at the error page section. If you're using the proxy service to kind of proxy those risky domains, you'll definitely want to set up a proxy certificate. That's done right here in the uh, certificate section. This is where you would set up a certificate that will be used to add Akamai as a trusted man in the middle so we can look at those risky domains that are being sent through the proxy service. The last menu item here is our general settings. And this is where you would go uh, to see the deployment history. Maybe you want to see um, who made a change to your Enterprise Threat Protector configuration. Uh, this will show you who made the change, when they made it, and what was changed. The communication section is where you would go to set up an email address. This would be used for uh, an email address to send alerts to. Uh, we'll also let you know if there's updates to the client connector or security connector or any kind of system issues. The last piece to look at here in Enterprise Center is the new clear DNS cache functionality. If we open this up, we'll pre be presented with the option to be able to clear DNS cache for a specific domain. If I type a domain name in here like Akamai.com, if I, and I can put more than one in here, but as I get my list of domains set up, I can hit this clear DNS cache button. This will clear the DNS cache for all of the domains listed in this dialog box here. Uh, very helpful if you're trying to troubleshoot some kind of resolution error and you just wanna kind of clear the cache and make sure that we're refreshing that from scratch. So new functionality that's here for you in Enterprise Center. So this is the new Enterprise Center console. Please reach out to your team if you've got any questions on this new functionality or there's any other assistance we can provide. Thank you for your time today.